Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about modern concept of gene. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So, modern concept of gene was coined by Benzer in 1955. According to him, gene is the unit of function that is also called cistron, a unit of recombination that is also called recon and a unit of mutation that is also called muton. Let's talk about them one by one. So first is cistron. So gene is also called cistron or unit of function because the information of a gene is passed into structure of a protein. So gene is a particular nucleotide sequence of DNA which first transcribes into mRNA and then translated into protein. Therefore, the gene, a unit of function, represents a segment of DNA which controls some cellular function. So, the gene is basically a part of DNA. So, this part is the gene and after transcription it becomes mRNA and after translation it becomes protein and Protein is associated with different types of cellular functions. So this is the concept of cistron. Next is recon. So gene is also called recon or unit of recombination. Because gene is a part of DNA within which crossing over happens. So crossing over is the exchange of genetic materials between two homologous chromosomes which occurs in meiotic cell division or meiosis. And if crossing over occurs then recombination will occur. So that is the concept of recon. Next is muton. So gene is also called muton or unit of mutation as it is capable of undergoing mutation. So at molecular level, a muton consists of one or many pairs of nucleotides within the DNA molecule because mutation can occur in one nucleotide or in many nucleotides. We know the concept of point mutation where only one nucleotide is mutated. So a uh, cistron may have hundreds of mutons and recons within it. Therefore, Cistrons occupy much greater area in DNA compared to mutons and recons. So, if this is the cistron, suppose this is the cistron, hundreds of mutons can be there because mutation can occur in hundreds of 
points or hundreds of nucleotides as well as recombination or recon also can happen in hundreds of spaces between these cistron therefore the cistron is a large area within the cistron hundreds of mutons or hundreds of recons are possible now one thing is very important to know that in prokaryotes g is equivalent to cistron in prokaryotes gene is equivalent to cistron because in prokaryotic gene intron is absent no intron in prokaryotic gene so the whole gene is involved in production of protein but in eukaryotes cistron is not equivalent to gene because eukaryotic genes contain both exons and introns and introns do not have any role in protein production rather exons have direct role in protein production so in case of eukaryotes it is better to say that exon is equivalent to cistron so in eukaryotes exon is equivalent to cistron here both intron exon are present 